The Meghalaya Board of School Education, MBOS, announced Class 10 results on Thursday. And with a little above half the students passing the exam this year, there is little hope that Meghalaya's ranking will see any substantial improvement in the Performance Grading Index, PGI 2020-2021, with the state ranking the lowest in last year's report. This year, about 64,269 students appeared for the Secondary School Leaving Certificate SSLC exams, of which only 34,003 students managed to pass recording an unenviable 52.91% pass percentage. Pass percentage is only 52.92. But if you see the numbers, Last year is about 26,000 students passed, but this year about 34,000 plus students have passed. So the number does not decrease. It is only because that this year we are, because due, due to this situation, the student could not prepare well, the student could not go to class. But that's why I'm very happy that the student, they work very well, they try to do very well, that's why we have seen that the number of pass, I'm not talking about percentage, is 34,000 plus in SSLC. This year, as many as nine schools recorded a zero pass percentage with a few recording within the range of 2 to 10 percent. Some districts in Garo Hills once again fared poorly, with Southwest Garo Hills recording a pass percentage of 23.01 percent, followed by North Garo Hills at 27.88 percent. Garo Hills region, it is always uh, performing below par. That's why if you remember, in 2019, we have formed the Garo Hills region uh, for academic uh, uh, evaluation or... Huh? That committee has submitted a report which some intervention could be done and many could not be done because due to this, the school could not be conducted. So this process, it is already in the mind of the, of the government. I think this government is the first who go, who analyze per, uh, why, why this happened. So the report have already been submitted by the county in 2020 uh, or 19, uh, 20 in the month of April, I don't remember exactly. And we have already implemented some of that uh recommendation but we could not do all because we need the classroom teaching to start and the <coughs> movement of the people from one place to another place need to start so we will do what it is need to be done the class 10 results were full of surprises as it saw schools of the state like saint thomas high secondary school myrang of west khasi hills district and Saolingdo High Secondary School of Maokayao, West Chantia Hills District, beat prominent schools in Shillong to back the first and second position in the top 20 list. Kevin Strong Laurin Young, a student from St. Thomas High Secondary School, Myrang, emerged as a topper, securing 576 marks. Wante Bok Pator from Saolingdo High Secondary School, Maokayao, backed the second position, securing 575 marks, followed by Kashi Sami of St. Mary's High Secondary School, Shillong, and Midumai Saha of Sherwood School, Tura, who jointly secured the third place with 574 marks. <laughs> Kristandoya <laughs> Uh, I did not expect to be in the top 10 or top 20 list because of we all know the pandemic and how we've been uh, managing our studies through the pandemic. So I did not really expect to be in the top 20, but I'm very, very happy and I thank God for all his blessings upon me. Challenges involves mainly because we had to do the online classes. We all know that. 
and through the online classes I know that I had a lot of challenges because I couldn't meet the teachers uh, I couldn't listen to them attentively I was distracted here and there having the mobile phone which is the main distraction it was there in my hand reading from it so it's really hard for me to go through that TNT Bureau Thank you.